Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Hope you all are in best of your health and fantabulous as always and as I always want you to be. Today in School for Elders, I have a very beautiful, amazing, inspiring story of a doctor. Yes, my dear friend, she's a pedestrian and apparently she's the oldest doctor uh, in the Guinness Book of World Record who was practicing uh, her services and her name is Leela Denmark. Yes, she's an American doctor and uh, she has written two books also. However, she has got many achievements, many awards, many honors at international level like Women of the Year and some prizes for her books and some honors. So many. Yes, list is endless. The good thing is that she's the third female who has got medical degree at that time. Uh, and then uh, she was a third oldest American uh, super centenarian. She died at the age of 114 in 2012. Yeah, 2012. And then uh, she became, uh, she practiced till 103 uh, years of age in till 2001. Um, I mean, after the retirement 73, she kept on practicing her uh, doctor, doctor uh, profession and she kept on uh, loving children and she always used to call uh, who is the next angel. That's how she used to check children and that's so beautiful about her. So uh, Leela Denmark is inspiration in herself. She has uh, actually said that there should be no smoking where there are children and where there are uh, pregnant ladies. So that's how she's concerned and she has authored in her book also and she has found out that uh, if you are a children or adult, you should never take juices, you should always chew your food. So she has given us many, many advices, many, many general advices to stay healthy, not to be sick. And you know, um, she's the doctor who has treated patients their children and their great-grandchildren. How amazing is that? She has treated three generations and most trusted doctor uh, in the US. So that's about her story and that's about her life story. Uh, I'm sure you felt inspired by this and I'm sure uh, you're amazed uh, by her achievements, by her honors which she has and the way she is practicing her work. She kept on working and she was beautiful till her, till her last breath. So today I have a very beautiful wellness mantra. I have just discovered from this uh, Leela is Denmark's life. The thing is, um, our, we if you know that we have three brains, I'll talk about third brain tomorrow. <laughs> so today I, we all know we have one brain here, right? In, in our forehead. Uh, we have gut brain. Now people are talking so much about gut brain. I have spoken about this almost five years, four to five years back. I have read about it, yes. Then I have given uh, a presentation and in that presentation of public speaking, I have spoken about this gut brain almost two, three years back. So uh, now people are talking and taking workshops on gut brain. What is gut brain? It is about whatever is there in your stomach. I mean, there are butterflies in your stomach. You know, you are uh, you are connected through your root. Root as in your navel is your root. So that is your connection to the universe. And uh, when something is not right, there is something in your stomach. We say butterflies in my stomach. Uh, and when something is very right, we feel overjoyed, right? And that's why they say breathe through your stomach to your head then how oxygen re will reach in a proper manner to your brain and you will see certain relaxation this is an immediate wellness mantra and you just see that everything will start working in your favor even if you are losing any battle even if you are losing anything you will start regaining you will start uh, your mind will start functioning properly because it will then connect it to the root from where your universe has started. So uh, that's my wellness mantra. That's the story. And please keep on sharing these wellness mantras and keep on sharing such stories. So uh, never forget your gut brain and your gut brain would not function if you will eat so much because it keeps on 
uh, working i mean it's keep on uh, keeps on filtering the blood it keeps on uh, functioning digesting the food that's the reason uh, fasting has nothing to do with any religion that's why i say fasting has nothing to do with any religion so when you fast your gut brain works faster that's why they say our brain become more active right it's not only this brain this brain also so tomorrow we'll talk about third brain i mean i'm sure you will get to know about the next wellness mantra and and please keep on spreading these stories keep on spreading these wellness mantras and these positivity in the universe and to everyone thank you so much for showering so much of love and uh, stay blessed always stay amazing stay abundant so bye bye take care <laughs>